Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing great. Today I'm coming to you with the video where I will be experimenting a little bit. Um, looking at the latest home decor trends, I spotted that many glassware items are available for sale now. And I'm talking about thin glass, uh, glasses with unique patterns or the ones which are giving the vintage vibe. I've collected few glass items which I will change in this video giving them a new and fresh look. I will also be using few different uh, glass painting techniques which are new for me so I will share the tips and tell you what not to do to avoid the mistakes I've made and before I jump into the first project make sure to subscribe to my channel for more projects and ideas and now without any further ado let's get right into the glass painting For my first project, I've decided to thin this textured bowl. Browsing the internet, I've noticed that this kind of glass is back in fashion. Many unique cuts, transparent colors, and of course, the price are sometimes ridiculous as well. I found this little bowl, I actually have two of them, in the charity shop. And to thin this one, I will be using technique of mixing Mod Podge with food coloring. I take the bowl upside down and place it on something higher. This way the edge of the bowl don't touch the table and any excess paint will just drop down. I take small container and pour a little bit of Mod Podge. And then I add my food coloring. I'm using the one in gel as that's what I found in shop. At the end it worked fine but the next time I would go with the liquid one as this one was quite hard to mix. It didn't want to dissolve properly and was leaving small bits. Of course more food coloring you put in then darker and deeper color you will get. I've also poured few drops of water to make it more runny. My first bowl I've decided to paint in blue color. And to apply my mixture, I will be using a little sponge. Be aware that this is not a permanent coloring. Mod Podge can be easily removed under the water. So this is a great option for using on decor piece and when you want to change the look of glassware. I apply the paint on the outside of my bowl. This way I can put more paint inside the cuts. After just few hours of drying, my first tint glassware is ready. It would be a great dish for a candle or as a decorative bowl for your small bits and bobs. Because I had some leftover Mod Podge mixture from the previous project, I've decided to use it up and try something different instead of throwing it away. This time I want to thin this decorative bottle. I really like the look of the old amber bottles. I've also created the construction from top of plastic bottle which will hold nicely my glass bottle upside down. And to make brown color out of the blue one I'm adding orange food coloring. This time I will color the inside of the glass, so I simply pour all of my mixture to the glass bottle. I start moving it around so the mixture runs down and covers the whole wall. I take it upside down and move it to my plastic holder. As you can see, all the excess paint is dropping down. And again, after just few hours of drying, the tint glass is ready. I'm not 100% happy with the result, so what I would recommend is not to water down the Mod Podge this time. It worked fine with the first project, but I think thicker consistency would be better for this bottle. 
As I've mentioned before, I have two of uh, the small glass balls. This time I want to thin it permanently and to do it I will be using glass paint. I will leave the link to the one I'm using in the description box. When using glass paints, it's important to clean the surface you are going to paint on with rubbing alcohol. I actually used hand sanitizer and work absolutely fine. I spray it around and then clean it with cotton pad. This time I'm going with red color. I put few drops of the paint around the bowl and using cotton pads I start spreading it over. This paint dries out uh, on the air quite quick, so I was trying to do small parts at the time. I've also tried to use the cotton uh, pads for quicker application, but the pads work so much better. You can go inside all of the cards and make sure they are all properly covered. I change the cotton pads from time to time as they get fluffy and leave small bits of cotton on the bowl. Once it's all covered, I leave it to air dry for 24 hours before I put it to the oven. All the drinking glasses which are inspired by Murano glasses absolutely stole my heart. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of colors, there is something unique about them. So of course I've decided to make something similar by myself. I want them to be practical as well, so I'm using paint glass, which after baking is dishwasher safe. And to create the pattern on them, I'm using small paintbrush. So the idea is to create many unregular spots or drops of paint. I start with one color and go around the glass. Because it's a transparent paint, I put thicker layer of it for better coverage. I leave about one centimeter unpainted space on the top of the glass. This paint should be safe, but just in case I leave the gap where you directly touch your lips with. I'm going with a few different colors to make it uh, more colorful and feel more of the glass surface. As I was using same paint as in my previous project, I leave them for 24 hours to dry and then bake them all together. Last but not least, I will try to recreate this patterned glass vase from H&M. I believe it's from the Easter collection and in one point it was out of stock. So I will show you how to make one on the budget and you can choose what shape of us you want. I'm using my old one which after a few years needs some touch or refresh. Before painting I clean it again with the alcohol. Looking at the original piece the white color looks very cloudy and not that rich. And to achieve similar effect I will paint it from the inside. The opening on this vase is big enough for my hand and paintbrush. It's again an regular pattern, more of the abstract art. I've decided to paint the bottom part of the vase all the way around and then move higher and higher. This way I don't touch uh, any of the fresh paint with my hand. I also try to put thicker layers of paint at once so I won't have to repeat it later again. I've run out of my white paint so I had to order another one. I've ordered a different one as the previous one came with the set of other colors and I didn't really need them. But I've thought white paint is a white paint, it's for glass and after baking is this washer safe as well. You couldn't see any difference in color between two paints. Only problem was that this paint was more runny than the other one and because of uh, my thick layers the paint started to run down. But I've rescued it with cotton buds. All my glass, which was painted with glass paint after 24 hours of drying, had to go to oven. According to the instruction from my type of paint, I have to bake them for 2 hours at 80 Celsius degrees. But it will of course depend on the paint brand, so always read the instruction.
The bowl came out super cute and comparing to the blue one, the color is permanent. My glasses are super cute, can't wait to use them for cold drinks during hot days in my garden. I've checked them and the paint is super strong, won't come off under water and I'm not even able to scrape it. H&M inspired vase came out perfectly, looks so similar to the original piece. It's a great way of updating your old or thrifted glass vase. Let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite. I had so much fun painting the glass for the first time and I'm quite fascinated with the result and that they are dishwasher safe. And even that I don't have dishwasher, it's good to know I can use them uh, and they know only for decorative purpose. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more ideas. And now thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you in my next video.